Robert Fico, Slovakia's former and perhaps future prime minister, is not mincing his words on Ukraine. Will we send weapons to Ukraine? No. Crimea will remain under Russian control. Ukraine might not even be able to push the Russian army out of currently occupied areas. It's their war, not ours. Ukrainians should have a think about how it started. For one of the world's biggest suppliers of arms and aid to Ukraine in per capita terms, such an attitude would mark a radical change. But Fitso feels he's in tune with the popular mood. Of course there has to be humanitarian aid, but we should focus on solving the difficult problems we face in Slovakia and only then devote efforts to foreign affairs. Some hold strongly anti-Ukrainian views, but prefer to remain anonymous. Neither side is winning in Ukraine, but they're harming the whole world. I wouldn't give them a single bullet. Nothing. Look at all the Ukrainians here with their fancy cars. Polls suggest only 40% of Slovaks blame Russia for the war, and many resent their country's support for its neighbour. The liberal news website Actuality is touring Slovakia, hosting talks about these trends. Slovakia's ambassador to NATO is deeply worried about the implications of FITO's policies. We would find ourselves in a group of states like Russia, Iran, China, North Korea, and Hungary. Uh, and after all this building of our independence, and you know, the desire to belong to the Western uh, part of the world, not only geographically, but also when it comes to values and principles that we cherish and we try to protect. I mean, that would be very unfortunate. Peter Bardi, the host of the discussions, is also the author of a new book on Robert Fico. He sees him as primarily an opportunist who exploits disinformation of all kinds. Slovakia is uh, sick. People don't know how to uh, understand the news, the opinions of the politicians, uh, how to select uh, information from the social media. And this is the, this is the reason, this is the main strategy of Smer and Robert Fico. Fico is enacting this strategy in an environment saturated with Russian disinformation. Slovakia's police teamed up with its Ukrainian counterparts to produce these debunking videos after Russia accompanied its invasion of Ukraine with a massive fake news dump on Slovakia. We are fighting for our freedom and yours. We thank the Slovak people for their help and support, and we call on you not to believe informational garbage and Russian propaganda. Don't let hoaxes ruin your country. Fakes can't fool me. But in Slovakia, Russian myths run deeper than just today's fake news. This was a demonstration in early September outside a theatre that had included a Ukrainian flag on its autumn season poster. They are afraid of Slovakia. We are Slavs and we have such a strong land, better even than the Russians, because yes, we are at the heart of the Slavic lands. Such pan-Slavic notions took deep root in Slovakia in the mid-19th century, making the country particularly fertile ground for Russian narratives today. They established this kind of myth of a Slovak nation which is really belonging to the Russian parts of the world and uh, that we are that we need this kind of umbrella of our Russian big brother. The poster reimagines the theater's communist era stained glass windows the heritage of a more recent period of Russian domination, adding symbols that Putin hates. We put their uh, bright uh, flag, also Ukrainian flag, as a flag which represents the, our neighbour who is attacked by other country. For many Slovaks, this is and will remain an undeniable fact. Yet they may well soon find themselves governed by a man who publicly questions it.